Here we go. Field trips. They're either totally boring or crazy. Well, at least for me. You all, ha you all know how field trips work. Your teachers say, oh yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. And then they hand you those worksheets. The, work the worksheets aren't hard or anything. They just take away from the experience. Like, instead of looking at all the fish in the aquarium, you're stuck trying to find a flat surface so you can write on the paper. And you often miss some of the answers that you're s supposed to get. So you're gonna end up spending most of the time walking around asking, hey, what was the answer? You're too late. We're leaving you behind now. Only the strong will survive. And by the time you finish the worksheet, the field trip will be over and you've pretty much missed everything. But... There was this one field trip. Okay. This one field trip, we decided to hike on this mountain for some reason. I don't exactly know the educational value of that, but... We decided to climb up this mountain. Well, not climb, hike, but... So we decided to hike up this mountain, and... You know, it was your standard field trip. They put us in, they put us in groups. They gave us worksheets. But the thing is, nobody stayed in their groups, and nobody did their worksheets. I mean, I couldn't understand the worksheets. They were weird. But okay, so, and no one would stay in their groups. They would just go hang out with their friends. The teachers would say, "You're in the group with these people." Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go hang out with my best friend. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Although, in this particular situation, they probably should have stayed in their groups. But anyway, so we started hiking up the mountain. I was with my mom, because I'm a mama's boy, I guess. And, and, and we were with a few other kids. Um, and as we were going up, a few other kids joined us, but we realized they just came out of nowhere, with no adults with them. Okay, that's sort of weird. So we keep going up the mountain, and then we see this kid I know bolting down the trail to find us. And he's like, hey, hey, uh, there's a bunch of kids. We're stranded on the top of the mountain. So we, so we go up there, and lo and behold, a bunch of kids stranded up on the mountain. And guess what? There was a fork in the road, and no adults anywhere. So none of the kids knew where to go. And this is where things start to, started to get, like, serious, like, super serial. So, my mom eventually guided us back down the mountain so we could, like, regroup with all the teachers if they were already down there. Um, you know those kids, like, in your class who can't comprehend serious situations and just decide to screw around all the time? Yeah, we had a lot of those kids. Like, most of the kids were quiet, but there was always those other few kids who, like, bolted in front of the trail and were laughing and talking with their friends. He's like, <laughs> some people could be dead in the woods. But, so we got down the mountain, and don't worry, every everyone turned out to be okay. But it was still sort of, you know, a dangerous ordeal, and the school apologized. And to this day, I still refer to it as the mountain fiasco. So, yeah, for me, field trips are either boring or crazy. But most of the time, they're boring. So, yeah, that sucks. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And this story is true, I can confirm that. But, yeah, I'm sorry this video took so long to come out. It's just, uh, the particular animation software that I'm using uh, is hard to convert into files that I can use, but hey, I hope in the future I'll be able to make videos faster for you guys, and yeah, comment, like, and subscribe if you want, and thank you so much for watching. See you later.